I thought that was big for us. Um, you know, we played a lot of Monte Carlo and the Davis Cup, and uh, unfortunately got got sick. So in Barcelona, so our momentum kind of was stopped, and uh, hadn't played too many matches in, in the month leading up to Nice. So we went there just kind of with an open mind that we wanted to play good tennis and get some matches before the French, and won the tournament. And we're kind of just uh, carrying that role in, in, in the French Open. You're through the first week now. How do you feel your game is at the moment? I thought we played a really good match today. Um, you know, beating a good team, Dubuque and Mahout, 0-2. Uh, you know, we had a lot of break opportunities. We're returning well, and uh, we're feeling fresh. You know, we, uh, we play again tomorrow against uh, a guy we probably played 50 times, Mark Knowles. He's won here before, and um, Xavier Mlaise, he's also won here. So that's a pretty savvy team. Um, and then the teams are going to keep getting better and better if we keep advancing. So um, I like where we're at. You know, as Bob said, we won these, and we're pretty confident. Yeah. Is there a shift in mentality when you get through the first week of a slam and you start building up to the second week? Yeah, 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 definitely. You know, um, the locker room gets a little bit uh, quieter. You know, usually the first week it's a meat market, it starts to clear out. Um, yeah, your focus just builds. Um, obviously, the nerves build a little bit as you get towards the bigger, the bigger rounds. Um, but you know, you're happy to get through the every match. You know, the first first match of a of a tournament can be a little sticky. Because um, you got the pre pre tournament jitters, but um, usually in the play gets better. You know, you, you're you're playing better. You're getting in, in a rhythm, gaining momentum, and you're playing teams that are playing better. So um, usually by the finals, it's uh, pretty stellar stuff. You won your first major title here in 2003. What memories do you have from that run and the impact that it had on your career? Yeah, that was a huge win for us. And you know, it kind of set us up to play Davis Cup, which gave us a lot of confidence to finish the year number one. And uh, that kind of catapulted our career. And, I mean, we had great memories. Um, you know, beating uh, Harris and Felnikov, you know, it was a, kind of a dream come true. Uh, a lot of emotion. I remember being really nervous for two weeks and um, eating bad Chinese food for uh, 21 straight nights. <laughs> um, but yeah, that, that was a, a very special uh, moment. It seems like yesterday, but it's already been nine years. So uh, we'd like to win here again. If you were to win here, you'd win an open era record 12 Grand Slam title. Do you think much about those sort of records when you're going through a tournament? Does it weigh on your mind at all? No, not really. I mean, we're, uh, I think we're thinking about it more um, at the Aussie Open. You know, uh, get asked a lot of questions, and I was thinking about it before the final, but uh, we, we talked about it. We have a lot of uh, Grand Slams left, a lot of opportunities to try to win that 12th. And uh, you guys got to think, think about the tennis. You can't be thinking about trying to make history or, you know, winning Grand Slam or whatever that. So we're just going to, um, you know, give everyone a shot.